Uh, the newsroom is buzzing right now, and it's because of our friends here. A few weeks ago, we had the pleasure of sharing the story of ECAD, where the Educated Canines Assisting with Disabilities program. Today, Executive Director Dale Picard and Puppy Instructor Christina Kanaletich are here. And so are some service dogs to be. Hi, friends. Nice to see you both again. Hi, nice hi. Time. Thanks for having us. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for bringing these sweet little pups. Before we talk about an exciting auction that's underway to name them, um, for folks who might not be familiar, tell me about the mission of ECAD. ECAD's mission is to train service dogs to become the arms and the legs for the people that we place them with. Our dogs are trained with 89 commands. They pull doors open, turn lights on. They can take your shoes off if there's no laces. And they'll take, take your shoe off, your socks off, without biting your toes. Mm -hmm. So as creative as you can get with the uh, words that you're, the dog has learned, you can train a dog to assist you and help you become more independent. And, and we were so fortunate to be able to go out to your facility and see that firsthand. You know, they, they can change the lives of, of the people who they get to call their, their owners. And, and some of the folks can also volunteer to foster these puppies, yeah. which is amazing. But tell us about this auction to name them, because this is pretty cool. Yes, yeah, so we do an auction to name all of our litters of puppies. Every single litter actually comes with their own theme, and it's dependent on um, the mom. So every mom has a theme attached to them for the puppies. So this litter is cartoons, like early Saturday morning cartoons of the 60s and 70s. So we got names like Scooby-Doo, Casper, um, just to name a few. And everyone at home can go onto our website at ecad1.org and jump in to name these puppies. And what happens is you get to choose by the color collar which puppy you want to name. Mm -hmm. You place a bid, and if you win, you get to name that puppy. That's absolutely amazing. And it's also a great way to raise awareness about the incredible work that you do. You've shared some of the stories with us. And if you haven't seen it yet, make sure to tune into uh, or go to NBCCTLive.com to watch that story that we did at their facility. Um, but you've heard so many stories about the, the difference that they make, and especially for younger children, because this can help families who maybe have a new autism diagnosis. These puppies can, can really help with, with a diagnosis like that. Yes, the... Uh... We, we train for a lot of different disabilities. Yeah. We place with about 50 dis mm -hmm. different disabilities. Autism is one of them. Balance issues. We place dogs mm -hmm. uh, with uh, veterans. Yes. Uh, our specialty is the higher the level of your disability, if you're a quadriplegic, the mm -hmm. better we can train the dog. Mm -hmm. So we're one of the rare programs that people come to when they've been denied at another service dog program. Because of the level of training that we implement into each animal, they can really become assistive devices. Mm -hmm. Let's get rid of the nurse. Just for an example, yeah. during the day you can get rid of your nurse. The dog will get stuff out of the refrigerator for you. Mm -hmm. Water will help you along. We'll even hit the 911 button you put on the wall wow. in case you fall out of your chair to notify so you can get help mm -hmm. at the house. And that's certainly a testament to your training as well that they can be so in tune with, with the yeah. folks that they're paired with. We have a lot of dogs that alert people that mm -hmm. sleep with, uh, uh, on vent with ventilators yeah. at night. When the machine malfunction, it'll mm -hmm. wake them up. So, uh, yes, the dogs become medical devices, actually. They really do. So we've evolved in the training mm -hmm. of our animals, which is great. They be can, can become a best friend as well, which you're seeing right now. <laughs> this is so special. And one more time, very quickly, the website that they can go to to help, oh, to help name them. Yes, they can go to ecad1.org or visit uh, ecad on Facebook, and there will be a link there that will oh. take you to a website to place a bid and name one of these cute puppies. He wants some love as well. What a day, what a life. Thank you guys so much for coming in, and also thank you for the work that you do to make lives better.